So have we got very cheap gas and electricity or haven't we? We have. If you look at most of the comparisons out there, you've quoted the Ofgem figures, the government's own figures and European figures show we're towards the bottom end of the range in Europe. But your viewer is right that in some other countries the proportion of tax is much higher than here. So in Denmark, half of the average bill is taxes. Here we have 5% VAT and as just, has just been discussed, another small amount which is to due to uh, government policy costs. Right, so when we're comparing prices, because this is when it's very difficult, you've got to compare like with like. If we're looking at other countries across Europe, should we use the end price to the consumer, which includes government taxes, or not? I think you should include it, but it's important to break down the bill and make the comparison uh, knowing what the constituents of the bill is. You know, how much is coming from the wholesale energy, like the gas that's bought, how much is coming from the wires and pipes, how much is billing, and how much is taxation. I mean, countries have very different approaches to the taxation and paying for the energy infrastructure we have, and clearly they're all at different places. In the UK, we're just about to go into a major investment phase. Other countries may not be in that place. So I think as long as we've got transparency of what makes up the bills, then you can have a discussion about whether the UK is particularly competitive or not. Right, so it's not really worthwhile to compare pre-tax costs between European countries? Uh, well, the geography really matters. So if you were to do that, then you'd have to compare, for example, I don't know, Norway, which has a lot of hydro. Those stations were built a long, long time ago, so mm. you're not paying the costs off anymore. That's very cheap to run, compared to a country like the UK, where more recently we've built a lot of gas-fired power stations. So you would have to take into account those differences, even if you took all the taxes off. Right. Because the reason for doing this, of course, is to find out whether our prices are competitive. Are we being ripped off, in other words? Um, how do you do that most effectively, then, do you think? Well, I think analysing them in comparison with other countries is a good start. Um, and certainly, uh, many countries are exposed to very similar prices. So the gas prices that go feed through into our bills are regional, and they're similar in, in continental Europe to here. Coal prices are very similar and so on. Um, but actually, you do have to take into account uh, particular circumstances, and therefore, regulators like ours and the government here has to look at how competitive the market is. And, for example, look at the difference between the costs of the energy that our energy companies buy, the mm. gas and the coal, on world markets, yeah, and what's so. happening to the final bill. And one of the things that's striking recently is the costs of the bill have been going up much faster than the costs of the energy going in. Yes, although if you look, actually, I looked at a breakdown of the bill on Wednesday, and there are lots and lots of differences different things in that bill over and above what you actually straightforwardly pay for your energy. There are those distribution network costs, there's the costs of the people to bill you, although that's quite small, and then of course the taxes I mentioned before and the costs of government policies. So you really have to disentangle quite a lot. But I think there is a case for looking at the UK market because we do have these big six companies and I think personally that the market isn't working as well as it could be and certainly it's very hard for newer companies to come in and start competing with them. Mm. The, 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 the market isn't particularly transparent but compared to other countries in Europe it's a much more competitive market than, than some other countries where sometimes you have only one state-owned provider and there it's even more hard to actually see whether you're getting value for money. Like in France I presume they have the sta state-owned energy company haven't they? Yes I mean that's uh, Electricité State of France which of course is a player in the UK as well um, is mainly owned by the French state and they're very dominant so in that situation which of course the UK used to have in the, in the uh, before the 1990s it's actually really really difficult for a regulator or government to actually know what's going on inside their accounting okay. because there's no competition at all